Our theme is uh, we like to help each other. That's why it's Camp Friendship. How are you? Mia. How are you? And the pizzas. The pizzas. Right. Yeah. Camp Friendship isn't about us offering them something. They give this incredible gift to everybody who sees them. It's about making someone happy, giving them a happy moment that they can have forever. is Cam coloring and dancing. Everything. Everything. It's so much fun. Yes. Okay, guys, everybody to your seats. We need to make pancake preparations. Camp Friendship actually started when parents uh, we're interested in having something for their special needs kids to do during the summer because activities for our kind of kids are pretty limited. Um, actually, I'm going to cook a whole lot of them first and then put them in the oven so we have a whole, you know, so everybody can be served at the same time. The team has gotten a whole lot bigger. We started with a group of campers and a couple of counselors. Now we have buddies, um, we have friends in our neighborhood. Well, I started out as an apprentice teacher and um, they suddenly had uh, an opening to work with Camp Friendship Special Needs Kids and I said, you know, I'd like to try that. Ben, Ben, Ben. Dominic, take this thing and Ben. The Camp Friendship teachers work with the students every summer and many of them work with the kids through the school year as well. So they have a very close relationship. Yeah, and then snap and say, hey, Ben, Hey, Ben. Now, remember, which hand is going to have the microphone? Uh, no, no, don't do that. It's amazing to watch them work one-on-one -on -one with the kids. When I first started, I wasn't sure exactly of uh, the decorum and what was okay and what was not okay to say, so I had to feel my way through it. But watching them, they do it like a regular classroom. Okay, do I have any A's left? No. no. So don't pick any more A's because there's none left, right? Uh-huh. Dylan, your turn. Those kids loved our children's theater shows. We could see them in the audience doing the summer stage song. So one day, I invited them all up on the stage and had them sing the summer stage song. And they were so thrilled just to do that. When I come here, they're, you know, they're ready. And you know, they're really trying. And finally, we said, do we want to put them on the real stage? So here they are. And 300 people come to see them, and they love it. This is another group of my friends I like to work with. I don't even feel like the teacher as much as um, a coach. Stand up. Then we stand up. We run in the big circle. Big circle. Shake your hands. Shake your hands. Now we're gonna go. Keep shaking them. Keep shaking them. Straight line. Straight line. Well, every year we write our own play, and as a storyteller, we just outline it. The first year since I came and had one day to prepare, I took a story that I already had. The second year they came to me and said, we have this fabric, it's gossamer, we want to do an island story. So I wrote it. But this year I said, well, do you want to do a western, do you want to do a folk or fairy tale? They said, no, we have an idea. And then they told me the story. The show that we're doing this year is The Ed Sullivan Show, 1963. Roll!
so my best friend, Vicki Townsend, tells me that I'm going to be Elvis in this play, and I say I'm very honored. And what my very, very once in a lifetime part is, I have to like dance and sing at the same time. <laughs> Are you gonna be nervous? No. Okay, he's not nervous, but I am, so I need to cool down. <laughs> and the winner is the friendly idol. The friendly idols! Mr. Sullivan, do you have a question for them? Yes. Ask your question. How did you do it? How did you do it? We stay, um, we stick together. And, and how else? Uh, we are practiced. You what? Practiced. Oh, you practiced. What else, Christopher? They're friends. How about you, Jimmy? They're together. All right, and that's what friends are for. Let's do one more handshake. Mr. Sullivan, you can join us. That's what friends are for! Can it be? When you look at them, smiling and dancing and clapping and in their costumes, it's just... It's for them. It's all for them. And that's the greatest thing, and nobody can take it away or change it or deny it. And they have had a happy moment. And they have accomplished something. And I think, you know, for me, that's just the greatest gift of all. It makes us all value what we take for granted. And to see them struggle and overcome something, it's an amazing kind of a miracle thing to watch. They see everything on such a basic, pure, kind, simple level. I just love them and I, I'm so thrilled at how much they've grown. Seeing that, it's like a flower that opens up and I think, wow, they really can do a lot. I had no idea. It's a memory. It's a lifetime memory. It's all about positive, positive events.